Alright then, so let's take another sh shot at this. Turns out I just forgot the route around the item shop. Which is a pain, because it's so close to the end, but... All I had to do was buy the antidotes and then leave. And a couple Phoenix Downs, but... This segment's kind of painful. It's really long, and it's got a lot of, uh... Navigation as opposed to. Oops, forgot to take a step up. It's got a lot of uh, navigation as opposed to battling or uh, cutscenes. So hopefully, no one stepped in my way there. Nope, no one did. It doesn't matter too much if they walk my way there, because the restart's only like two seconds at that point, so it's like, who cares? All the way up to the bottom of the staircase. Now I go up the staircase. Around the railing. Stupid railings. Wish I could just walk through them. Safety second. One, two, three, four, five. The lady in this room has a set walking pattern, so she's not going to get in my way the first time I go through this room, but she could get in my way the second, so I gotta watch out for that. So unfortunately, I've got to get all the way to the next chest before I really have any indication that I, I've made it. So hopefully I made it to this bottom dungeon here. One, two, three. One, two. There we go, got it. Alright. So I gotta go one to the left, out the door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so now I gotta get all the way up to the top. One back. All the way up to the top again. Oh wait, no, no, not all the way up to the top yet. Forgot. Let's go all the way back to the bottom so I know where I am. Not about to leave yet. I've still got a whole bunch of cash to get. It's easy to remember because they're both two steps from the wall that I hit before them. One, two. Around that, straight over to the box. The stream is such a maze, so it was annoying to figure out how to remember it all. Back over to this chest, and now I can just mostly backtrack the way I came in. Alright, 
Alright, so now let's double check that I'm out of this room properly. Yeah, I'm out of the room properly. Now I oughta gotta walk all the way to the left. It's less steps from the left than the right, so I might as well go all the way left and then count my way back. I've gotta do the counting either way though, cause there's just that random narrow slot in the middle and no way to tell where it is, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight up the stupid narrow slot. Hopefully up the staircase has already happened up here. And now the last time I messed this room up, I, I recovered, but I messed it up. Yeah, ironically, right after I was saying, oh, I've got plenty of room for air. <laughs> and then I go and mess it up because I was too slow. So this time I'm going to be a little, I'm going to do a little slightly different route just to, like, there's no reason to risk that douchebag getting in the way, so... Alright, now I should be out of the room. Yeah, I'm out of the room. Thankfully, going back through the door is kind of an easy way to check. Up one. All the way to the left. All the way up here. Alright, so I managed to nail this bit the last time. I'm hoping I get it right again. I don't want to go too far because otherwise that lady gets in the way. This guy's got too many people in his house. Alright. One. Two. Three. Alright, I made it. Just trying to make sure I get in the right spot here. Run to the side of the house. Thankfully there's no dumb kids running around up here. Should be a curfew. Really early curfew, like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. That'll teach those kids to be outside and getting in my way of a blind person. Into the weapon shop. And by weapon shop, I really mean armor shop, because I'm going to completely ignore the weapon half of it. I don't really care, because I don't really... Locks are not doing much, and... Pretty much all I need a weapon for is a stat stick, really. Two heavy shields. One hairband. Two of, uh, that thing. One cotton robe, and one kung fu G. Alright. Yeah, I think I called it by the Game Boy name. <laughs> I don't know why I, I mix up the Game Boy names and the Super Nintendo names. I was... Like, you'd think I would have gotten used to the Game Boy games... Game Boy names from uh, how long I was playing that before I switched back to the SNES version for the hacking, but... Like, but when I started playing the GBA version, uh, I was like, I hadn't played the SNES version since I was five, but even then I was mixing up the names. So this guy is very, very annoying, because it's such a narrow path up here, so I have no way of really telling whether he's in my way or not. So I've pretty much just got to wait a long time and just in case. Although I think I overdid it last time, so I'm gonna stop now. Not that long a path. Now this time I have to wait a little bit longer though, because if he gets trapped beneath me here and ends up walking in that narrow crevice, he's gonna be walking in there for a long time. He might, uh... He has a great amount of time to mess me up, so I've got to give myself a lot of leeway here, even though 
he might not have gotten in the slot at all, and he might have just, and I might be walking with Hez for like 10 seconds, but probably good enough. One back up. This time I should know where I am, as opposed to last time. I know where I'm going to be walking at this point. I thought I'd be walking into that uh, little jut up to the top right of where I should be now. But instead I walked into the balcony area. So now I walk down to the bottom of the balcony. Into the side of the weapon shop. I mean item shop. Well, I guess I could hit the enemies over the head with a potion. If it's in a glass bottle or something, I suppose that would do some damage. All the way up. There we go. I got it this time. There's no elixir in that clock, unfortunately. Stupid item shop guy. Don't you know clocks are supposed to have elixirs in them? Antidotes? A whole bunch. I don't want to be messing in the inventory with a star pendant every single time someone gets potion poisoned. So I'm just going to use the antidote. And I'll buy a couple Phoenix Downs. They're expensive, though. More expensive than in Brave New World, I'm pretty sure, so I don't want to blow too much cash on them. Alright, so I walk around this little spot. Take a step onto the staircase. Down the staircase. I'm kind of nervous right now, so... I... All the way down. Take a step onto the other staircase. All the way down that staircase. I, that kid is usually pretty far away, so I'm not too worried about him getting in the way here. But he might. One, two, three. Back up to the top. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell at this point until I actually make it all the way out. So if I get lost somewhere in here, I'm pretty much done. Gotta give it some leeway here, because there's another dumb kid up here. All the way left. I can tell Zozo's gonna be a pain because I don't. I have to deal with random encounters and people walking around. At least I'll have door noises everywhere to tell me where I am. All right. So there's no way the kids in the secret passageway that I'm just casually using. I would normally skip <laughs> large portions of Lockie's scenario, but... Now I should be on the other side of the secret passage. I doubt anyone got my way there, I might as well just not be too careful. But now is where I have to be careful, I gotta run all the way over to these boxes. I'm pretty sure one step over to the side and... This, this part's not gonna work. I think there's only one space worth of room. I'm not sure. And there's a couple NPCs that could be getting in my way here, so... Presumably all the way down. This part of the path's not hard to memorize, but... It's just the NPCs that could be causing a problem, and now it's not a two-second restart, it's... Like a 10 minute restart, so... Now here I'll walk behind this bush. Gotta relieve myself, I guess. The only toilets are in the Magitech, I mean like the Imperial Palace, so... Don't have much of a better spot to go. I'm gonna shoot someone if an NPC stepped in my path that one step I had to take right. Good, made it, alright. Have I actually not done any menuing this segment? Uh, 
I guess that was technically a mistake, because I might have messed up the shopping, but I can still redo it using the video recording. So, until next time. Alright. Up. All the way left. Now I walk down and get stuck in that little bit of the item shop. Go left again, hit the wall again. All the way down. Now here's the moment of truth if I made it to the item shop properly. All the way left. Uh oh, that's bad. Not again. Just had this. Alright, I'm hoping that wherever I got stuck, that just warmed me up to the top right of the South Figaro, so I can take another stab at the item shop. Otherwise, this is probably done. Yeah, but I lost it. 